Bradley from Optimum Wellbeing and today I'm going to show you how to use the foam roller for the upper back, the thoracic spine. We're going to go from about this part of your back up until about this part of your back. I wouldn't really, I wouldn't do it on your lower back or on your neck, it sometimes gets a little bit irritated. So find a foam roller and then come to the floor and take the foam roller lengthways across your back and you lie back around that mid-back region and even giving yourself a little bit of a hug. From here what we're going to do is just a few warm up rolls up and down the spine just loosening up through the tissues. Then we're going to come back to that mid spine and what we're going to do is just doing little oscillations forward and back almost like we're just trying to wiggle um, one vertebrae to the next. So we'll do about six or half a dozen little wiggles on each vertebral level, move up to the next ones doing another six little oscillations forward and back moving up to the next one and so on and so forth until you get about to the shoulder blade level at the shoulder blade level kind of reach the arms over the top of the chest without straining the neck take about half a dozen six breaths into the chest and this is really good just for opening up the whole rib cage you can also do a little bit of a wiggle up through there and that's pretty good it should only take a couple of minutes and after you should feel like your spine is just really nice and flexible um, when you're starting off, obviously go easy because it can feel a little bit, um, yeah, it can be quite strong on your back, so just ease into it. But uh, thanks for watching, Nick Bradley from Optimum Wellbeing.